Why, hello again, Life is Strange fans. How are you all doing? It's Ghost Trouble here with episode 5, Polarized, and you were not forgotten. It may seem like this series and this episode, and you were, but I've just been super busy with a bunch of brand new huge releases uh, that I had early access to, so I wanted to make sure I got those going uh, and cruising along. But now we're ready to continue this. Wanted to make sure this weekend I let you know that I'm still super pumped to see what happens in Life is Strange. This one is like one of my favorites of the year and means a whole no lot to me. Uh, sometimes you just gotta put Chloe work can't die again. before I have personal to save her. priorities occasionally, although I don't recommend it very often, unless it's a video game, in which case it's not. I guess that high of a priority. What am I saying? Let's just go and make sure we find out what happens when we reverse time again. We're going to focus on the photo once more. Chloe was having a catastrophe back at Arcadia Bay, and we got to make things right. Today is the day. Tonight is the Excuse night. Me. Oh, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... We're trying to focus mode here. These people don't want to let me into my zone, but I definitely have to get in my zone. There we go. We're in the zone. Back to the beginning. Take it to square one? What is gonna happen? The game is nearly done. Oh shit! Oh my head! What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. Oh god. What am I doing to time? Turning it into a bloody horror movie. It's like some paranormal smog of the Satan. Nonsense. Previous what is that? Was so perfect. Looks like a. I'll accept that uh, I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. This looks like a foot with hole puncher punches out of it. The evil doom foot. Where do I go? Oh god, another photo. I'm gonna go into another photo. Chloe, I mean Max, you're gonna turn into Chloe if you're not careful. The whole world is gonna like. I just have to make one uh, simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Okay, so we have to tear the photo up so she can't turn it in, and then we won't go to San Francisco. And then we can hopefully fix this whole thing before it begins. Danger, danger, Max. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. I mean, that's true, but I don't know what you being there is going to do to save a tornado unless you plan on airlifting Chloe to another continent. So winning that whole thing didn't happen. I don't, I mean... The world that Max now exists in is so far removed from all the choices we made. Did it just, like, erase everything that we did? Is all that meaningless? Is it going to come back to fruition at some point? Are we going to return to our OG timeline? Wait, she's still going or no? Okay, that's not happening. So she still ends up in the creepy room, I guess. So she is back to that timeline, I guess. Timeline of Jefferson in the creep zone. Ugh, why is he so freaking me? Where are we gonna be put? Where are we gonna be dropped? Oh god, the dark room again. Oh, fuck! God, no! I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything! What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Mm. Well, both of these options are really, really cool. And on point, and probably what Max would really say. So, X or B, it doesn't matter. They're both good for me. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Yes, I do. Yes, Max does. He just killed a girl again. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, 
but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He, he burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. How is she going to get out of this? We stuck ourselves thanks to all the switches. Please, don't do this. Max manipulated time one too many times. But now we've messed up. We're gonna get murdered by the maniac. Is this how it all ends? I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Can I just kick him in the face? Ah! What? Who's coming to save me? Damn. <gasps> oh! David Madsen. Ah. No, David. No. Rewind time. Okay, I gotta like warn David or like distract Jefferson or something. Okay. Okay. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I? Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Um, turn off the lights, play some music, some water on this picture. Music, I think, would then obscure the noise and David can come in and shoot the guy in the head. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Come and kill him, David. David, you're the hero. You're the one. I knew. You could do it. We believed in him. If you remember, we sided with David back uh, in like episode two or three. All right, he should come right now. I'm proud of us that we didn't even get prompted to rewind time. But we just did it ourselves. Shoot him! Hey! Hold it! What? No way, Jefferson. Wait, I have to rewind it? Hold it! What? So the music isn't right? Okay, then I thought, I mean, music made sense. Just shoot him, David, you dummy. All right, fine, we'll go back and we'll pick a different one. One last photo, I guess? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? So creepy. I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. So creepy. Freaking shoot him. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No, D David. 
Huh? Get the camera next to you. Good work. We're helping him out. Like no gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. No! Oh, crap. David Matson. Of course. Oh, my God. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Dang it. Oh, for three, baby. David, you dummy. Why do I have to be the WWE coordinator of this brouhaha? Why can't... What the... It's over. You are not going God, to stop bottle. me. There we go. Let's re-coordinate this. Okay, that's not it either. Okay, flip the table at him, I guess. What? Going to stop me? What? Going to stop He's hiding a gun over there! Holy violence! Stop me! Okay, I'm gonna pull the cable and trip him. Going to stop me! There we go! Yeah, David Madsen. KO on the creepo. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Holy guacamole. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Great. We're stuck. Warren! Yes! I can use that picture he took of us. Oh, baby. Back in time via the Warren Shit. photo. No signal. I think everyone predicted that. For Thanks, better Mr. Or worse. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Okay, so did we use the Warren photo or nah? Max. Jefferson looks so sorry you had to be pathetic now. Yeah, he is. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just... Wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. At least Dave is redeeming himself and, and really coming through in the end as a class act. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. Aww. Sentimental moment of the day. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. 
I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. Aww. Chloe's tough. Just like you. I'm glad we have something in common. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope, a new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, she, she would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So where is Chloe? Isn't she dead right now? In this timeline? I'm pretty sure she's dead in this timeline, I think. I believe so, right? We're having this moment of honesty, you might as well bear it all. David... Uh, Chloe is... is... dead. This isn't happening. It can't... No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you... are you sure? Are you... Yes, I... I saw her. I... I saw a... Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was so close to finding out the truth? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? We're gonna fix it, don't worry. I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Okay, that's not good. No rewind? Oh, David's gonna go to jail. Crap, Barella. This is no good. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. Rewind, Maxwell. Silver hammer. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. That was a crazy intense scene. Imagine we could have just walked away and not talked to him, I guess. You would have missed so much. I feel like someone that just had their daughter be killed and then murdered a guy would be way more upset though. Maybe he's gonna get to that point now. Holy crap. All this expensive gear just for under my nose. Sick bullshit. It's okay, David. I'm so sorry. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit. Well, turn away. We don't want vomit in our freaking video series. Oh, I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. Yeah, that's pretty creeping gross. I lost again. I always lose. Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Whose bracelet is this? Oh. Victoria? That's Victoria's bracelet. I bet Jefferson was going My to God. use that to frame Nathan. 
What do I tell I can't Dolores? believe Jefferson is what? dead. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't David get going and, like, form, start formulating his, his testimony? Hold tight, David. I'm going to fix everything. I guess that's why Max isn't too worried, because she can just rewind and take care of business. Hopefully. So gross. I, just wake up. I wonder if he charged that duct tape to Blackwell. <laughs> Scumbag. No more fucking guns. Yeah, let's not shoot anybody. Frank isn't a bad person, but... He can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Oh yeah, he gave them to Jefferson. You won't be going, Jefferson. To any more shows. I mean, I guess he gave them to Nathan, but then therefore gave them to Jefferson. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you. For the last time. It's really creepy and gross that he keeps the mementos of the girls he kills. Like, that's just Nobody weird. will look at Jefferson's work the same. Chloe. Nice touch to have David. Finally getting really emotional in the background. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. Ah, $4,500 here in the place to, uh... No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. One-way ticket to Los Angeles. That's what you do with everybody. You just sent them to L.A., supposedly, and then killed them. So creepy. Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed for him. But he wanted to murder them. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. He wanted murder and mystery. Murder and mystery. And that's what we've got going on in episode 5 here. Guys and girls, we'll be back soon. Poor Maxwell has been through a lot. I don't know how she'll ever shake all of the spooks that she has seen tonight and every day of this week. But we'll try our best to right the ship when we return. Until time, though, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being patient. I love you all. We'll definitely finish this series. Until next time, drink so much, thought. We'll see you all later.